Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's another Sea of Thieves video today. This one again is about uh, an update of how the game is going in sense of problems, bugs, bugs and fixes. Uh, it's just a recap of what uh, is posted already on the forums. It's just easier if I just tell you what's going on. Let's go! So this was posted on the 5th of April 2018 um, and it's just going to talk about the, the sort of f problems they're having with the games and what they're doing about them. So the first thing is about the ship respawn. So when you sink a ship they respawn too close to you. This can be frustrating for players at skeleton forts uh, or constantly having the same ship follow you and engage you in contact, uh, contact combat even. We have pushed the distance back uh, that the ships respawn so that they're out of view of the ships that just sunk. This has pretty much doubled the original distance of the ships were respawned. This change is in game when we went live on the 4th of April. Um, so they're going to take a look at this and see if this is something that's working. I have actually physically played it a couple of times. It only puts you two islands away, but it does put you out the, the, the view of the previous ship. So I suppose it kind of... The system is quite working quite well. Uh, obviously, if you scuttle the sh ship yourself, you don't have to get in contact. It will still transport you to a safe area that is not within the certain zones. The next thing up in the list is spawn killing. So players can get stuck in a die, respawn, die cycle if another crew stays around their ship. Um, and they've said that in short term, mitigation for this is to make more players more aware of the scuttle option uh, as a way of getting it out of the scenario. We're adding information on the loading screens, on the way back to the Ferry of the Damned, and also a reminder on the Ferry of the Damned itself as an option. So they're, um, they're, giving, they're giving everyone the option to scuttle the ship. So if you get boarded by a galleon, say you're on a sloop, you've been killed, they're still on your ship, they're, they're sending it off, trying to blow it up, doing whatever. Uh, it's basically the advice that they give to stop you keep getting killed because obviously you go through the ferry of the damage, you come back through, you get shot in the face again, and it does happen. Um, basically, what they're saying is that you the, the op there is an option there to scuttle. If you've got treasure, you're going to kind of want to go back in there and try and fight your way back and take uh, your treasure out if you can get it out. I mean, it's, it's kind of a lose lose situation, but you're still going to try sometimes. But if you've got nothing on you and you're just getting griefed and killed over and over, then why not just scuttle your ship? The next thing they talk about is a brig abuse. Um, players are misusing the brig for various reasons. Most common of those we've seen is to hold a slot, either because they want, because we want to play as a private crew, or they want to play with people who have the same have mics or talk the same language. Uh, a key change we're working on is what they said uh, is to allow players to select whether they want their ship to be open or to make them for matchmaking or to close. That's only invite only. This is a good. Uh, step forward I believe because it would be good to have it stopped off so you could actually set up a four-man uh, galleon uh, you've got two of your friends or three of your friends on and then the extra slot won't get filled um, yeah you could say that perhaps you just choose the three man if there's three of you but then what happens if someone gives you a message and says oh I'm coming on see if he's I want to play you've got to physically go out of the game and then come back in again which you don't really want to do all the time uh, so having the option to turn the invite on or off within game uh, would be pretty handy so you can bring that fourth member in without having to restart again I quite like this uh, this feature that they're looking at um, let me know what you think in the comments Something else they touched upon is finding a suitable crew. Uh, so closely related to the misuse, misuse of the brig, uh, players don't really have any control of who they play with apart from playing with friends. The key preference is we are to play with players using mics or the same language. So they're going to work on a matchmaking system. Hopefully, uh, if it detects... They're going to put filters in to say, like, I speak English, for starters. Um, the system already kind of knows whether you've got a microphone in or not um, so that is already in place it's just mainly they're going to change it for language uh, just so that we don't get people speaking French if you're English or vice versa they might not understand what you're saying just because you're speaking English and the final thing I think on this week's update is cheating so uh, we've seen a few reports of instances of cheating where players are compromising the game client or using programs to gain an advantage over other players everyone should understand the seriousness with this which we treat this and anyone identified as taking part will have action taken against them up to and including permanent xbox live 
account bans, we have a zero tolerance approach to this. So uh, they are investigating some suspicious behaviour. They have they have kind of said that they've actually caught some people. This is the number of people we are currently investigating show suspicious behaviour, make up an extremely more small portion of the player base. So they've actually caught. I think they've copped a few people who are actually trying to cheat here. Um, what it what it means is is that. We we are pretty sure that aimbots are in the game because you get the one shot kill from distance. I mean, it, I understand that the shotgun can kill or the blunderbuss can kill point blank range in the face. You're dead. Uh, but there's been some very suspect gameplay in the earlier days. It's not so much now, but in the earlier days, it kind of made you think they're cheating. But they are investigating all sides of cheating, and they will be banned as soon as possible. And actually, that wasn't the last thing. There is a little bit of a section at the bottom. It's about content plans, and it says, We hear and understand that people are keen to understand what our plans for updating Sea of Thieves beyond the top experience fixes. We are currently in the midst of adjusting our roadmap based on feedback we have received since launch. We, With a ton of planned meetings continues throughout the week, we plan to release a video next week updating everyone on how we plan to evolve Sea of Thieves moving forward. We totally understand that people want to see this ASAP, but the critical thing here is to have the right plan that allows Sea of Thieves to grow in the right way. Well, I'm going to be releasing a video later on talking about those plans. It may have changed because the video was made in February, but I can see that it being that way in the future. Because this, as I've, I said in a, in a video I've already, already cut for, um, this is like Minecraft. So it's a base game and they're going to continue to add content for free and they'll just build a build a build a build a build on top of each other. So I mean I wouldn't worry too much about the content side of it, we'll just, it'll be here when it's here. So that's it for the moment, this is this week's updated info on their fixes. Um, just a little side note, uh, it, it, from my own, personal appearance, uh, my own personal experience, there is a few bugs in the game at the moment, there's one where you can't switch two weapons, you can't switch your weapons at all. Um, then it can't, it gets kind of annoying and you you have to kill yourself. I'm not going to go into too much detail into it. I will make a video instead. Um, that's that's a known problem at the moment and I still think that the achievements are not fully working. Uh, so previous ones you did before the 29th of March are still on the back burner to come through. It's on their system apparently so you haven't got to do them again. It's just going to take a while to push them all through. So there you go, that's today's, well this week's news for Sea of Thieves. Let me know what you think about all this new information, uh, what's your views and points on it, let me know in the comment section. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like, comment, I say it every time, and subscribe. Thanks very much for watching today, have a great rest of the day, and take care.